Now, you know, some of these construction companies like NCC sold off very aggressively yesterday on fears that uh, the Karnataka, the new Karnataka state government may reconsider some of the awards already uh, given out. Uh, Vivek is standing by with what uh, CLSA has to say about this. Vivek, over to you. Well, absolutely right. So, you know, the fears, as you mentioned, was on the back of the fact that news reports yesterday mentioned that, you know, the new, uh, you know, the fresh government in Karnataka has given an order to stop release of funds to any orders given by the previous government and also orders to go ahead and stop all pending works which have not yet started. Now, the rationale given for this was that some of the pre-election soaps that the incoming government had given would need funding and which is why they wanted to go ahead and stop the funding for the already awarded projects. Now, what CLSA has to say is that, you know, the fears that the market had yesterday which saw significant uh, sell-off as far as names like NCC or uh, J. Kumar and Fry, when LNT is concerned, uh, you know, it may not be as bad as it was feared yesterday. What they are saying is that Karnataka is not a leader as far as capital expenditure is concerned and not a material part of the EPC order books of most of these companies. For LNT, it's just around 1% of the total order book. For NCC, it's around 11% of the total order book. But even within that 11%, you know, there is a proportion of orders which have joint funding from state government, central government, as well as external funding agencies. And it'll be important to note whether these projects are stopped as well. So overall, they believe that, you know, yesterday's weakness in names like NCC is actually given quite a good opportunity to add on to these stops. All right, uh, Vivek, uh, thanks very much. Uh, so that's a space which will, I think, continue to see a fair bit of debate. But CLSA weighing in, saying that could be a good opportunity.